I don't want a woman to clean my house. I only want a man. Is it possible to ask for only a male house cleaner? That's a great question, and we'll talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. All right, today's show is brought to us by housecleaning360.com. That is a website that partners house cleaners with homeowners, and together you can find the perfect match. This is a house cleaner that will come clean your house on the schedule you need. Housecleaning360.com. All right, on to today's show. We have a guest that called into the show, and they asked this question. Hello. Yeah, I saw this website and about cleaning because I was searching for a male cleaning service. And I found this about the subject, about women not wanting a man, a woman having to be safe from a man. But now, wait a minute, but when it's me as a man, and I'm looking for a cleaning service with men, well, then I have to look for a cleaning service with men because now, as a man that wants to hire a cleaning service, and like me as the man, women are crazy and dangerous. And I am not... I have to be safe. I, the man, have to be safe from the woman because women hate weird autistic men. I'm a weird autistic man. And women hate weird autistic men. And, oh yeah, I'm sort of also of, like, I guess, agoraphobia, agoraphobic agoraphobia. And I don't want a lot of people to do it either. And I'm, I, like, women don't treat me right. They don't, and when they're in authority, like, oh yeah. When they're an authority? All right, that is an excellent question, and I want to really honor this by breaking it down into a couple of different facets. Now, you first said that you were a weird autistic man. So I would, I would like to honor the fact that you have autism, and I would like to suggest moving forward that you not lead with that. Because if you call up a company and you lead with that, that's going to scare a lot of people just because it's an odd statement to say right up front, right? So what we want to do is we want to highlight the fact that everybody has insecurities and their communication insecurities and they are social insecurities and all of the things that come with autism and the different levels of autism. So I want to honor the fact that you have autism. I don't want to defame that in any way, but we don't need to tell that to people. We don't need to come out and say that you have autism. It's just not important, right? There are lots of things people have going on in their lives that they don't need to share. And that's probably one of them. All right, another thing that you mentioned is that you have agoraphobia, which is an anxiety for unknown things. So you get stressed out or unsure or embarrassed when you're not sure about like when somebody comes to your house, what's going to happen next. So that's perfectly normal. And so when the house cleaner comes to your house to do a walkthrough, whether it's male or female, they don't know either. But the good news is this, you both want the very same things. You both want something to happen. You want your house cleaned. They want to clean your house and you want a business transaction to happen, and you both want to do that in a safe environment. So you both want the exact same things as far as working together goes. That's what you need to lead with. So when you're asking for a house cleaner, it is possible that you could ask for a male house cleaner, and you don't have to go into any details and you don't have to explain why. No one needs to know what your private reasons are. What you do is you call the house cleaning company and you say, hey, I would personally be more comfortable having a man come clean my house. Is that possible? That's it. You don't have to go into any other details. Okay, now that we've covered that, what I do suggest is this. If you're in a situation and it sounds like something happened, I don't know what it was, but it sounds like something happened that makes you uncomfortable around women. And so what I recommend is this. Let's not generalize all women as being hateful and mean and vindictive and all these things because that would be silly, right? That would be like saying all men are that way. Well, all men are not that way and they're not all dangerous, but there are women that have had bad situations with men and there are men that have had bad situations with women. That's kind of common knowledge, right? So what we want to do is we want to find the perfect person. Now we want to be open to the fact that it might be a woman or it might be a man. But what we do know is this, you don't want to be there when the person comes for all the reasons that you mentioned. And that's okay because most house cleaners, they don't want you there anyway. And so they want to come and do their job, get their money and then go home. And so if that happens, you don't even have to be there when the house cleaner comes to clean. So you can make an arrangement that they come clean your house on a certain day at a certain time. And then on that day at the certain time you leave 
and you go run your errands and you do your grocery shopping and the things that you do. And then when you come home, your house will be clean and tidy and they will be gone. So you don't even have any interaction with them whatsoever. That way you're safe. They're safe. There's no question. There's no interaction. You don't have to answer their questions. There's no chit chatting, any of those things. All right. Having said that, you do need to be present when there's a walkthrough of your house. And I say you need to be present. You don't actually have to be in charge. And so what I recommend is that you have another person that you know, like, and trust to be present when they do the walkthrough. And so what this means is maybe a mother or a father or a sibling, or maybe even a neighbor or a church friend, someone that you're comfortable with. I would recommend that you go on a walkthrough of your house with them and tell them what is important to you. And then when the person comes to, from the house cleaning company to walk through your house, the person that you have, like your mother, your father, your sibling, your church friend, they can be the moderator. You don't have to say anything at all, right? You're just there getting a feeling and a sense of the person that's going to be in your home. Now, it's important that you do this because this person, if they work out for you, it's going to be a long-term relationship where they're going to be cleaning your house every week or every other week. So you want someone in, there, in your house that you like and trust. That's very important. It's also very important for the house cleaner coming into your house that they know, like, and trust you. And so it's very helpful if you are there on the walkthrough, right? Now you might have a code word. The code word is something you say if at any time you are uncomfortable with what's happening. And the code word is only known to the sibling or the church friend that's at your house as the moderator. So for example, let's say your code word is sandwich. If you are on the walkthrough with the person and you feel weird or uneasy or uncomfortable about what's happening, then you say, excuse me, I'm going to go make a sandwich. Okay. And that is a code word to the person that's moderating the walkthrough. Shut the whole thing down. This is not the right person. I'm not comfortable with this and we'll find another house cleaner. Okay. And so that way you're always safe. There are no surprises. You don't have to say anything that would trigger someone to be unkind to you or to misunderstand you. So you just want to be very keen on the fact that how you come off to other people may not, may not be your strong suit. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Nobody has to be charming and charismatic and all of these things. All you have to do is be present when the other person walks through your house with the person that you trust. And that person, because you've already given them your directives, they can walk through and say, this is important that we get this clean. This tub has a little bit of standing water. We want to make sure that we, you know, get all of that out so that mold doesn't build up or whatever the highlights of your home are. And this person can explain that to the house cleaner that comes in, whether they are male or female. But my experience is this. There are a lot of house cleaners out there that have spent years working in homes with people of all different types of personalities and different levels of social skills. And they are very kind and compassionate and they are able to navigate those kinds of situations. So just trust in yourself and know that you are whole, you are good enough. And if you need a house cleaner and you have the ability to pay for a house cleaner, that's all that needs to happen. You just need to make the agreement and then partner with someone that you know, like, and trust, like a sibling, a parent, a friend that can help you on that initial walkthrough. And then from here on out, you just make sure that you have the payment ready and that when the time comes for the person to come clean your house, that you don't interfere with their process, that you're not there. You haven't blocked the driveway so they can get in and out any of those things. Just let them come do their job. You go off and run your errands. And then when it's time you come home and everyone wins because you do deserve a clean house. And just because you've had a bad experience with women along the way, doesn't mean you shouldn't have a house cleaner to come clean your house. So if you need a house cleaner, I would lead with the fact that I need a house cleaner. And I, if you are comfortable with a man, I, I prefer a man to come clean my house. The good news is this, there are lots of men who clean houses. And in a very diplomatic way, the company owner can say, Hey, I've got a job and then dispatch one of the men that works for the company. It's that simple. Nobody ever has to know if you have an issue with women, you can keep it totally silent, keep it to yourself. Like I say, nobody needs to know, but if you need a house cleaner, it's possible to get one and it's possible to do it without making you uncomfortable. All right. I hope that helps just a little bit. If it does, please leave your comments and questions in the notes below. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.